been a while, I know. You can hate me for it down in the comments. It's been too long. It has. But I've got a lot to show, show you. And uh, yeah, basically what we've been up to. We've been, we've been, we've been we fill up, fill up with fuel. Then I'll speak. So basically, the last time you see me or, or put a video up was when we was planting the potatoes, I believe. Well, that's a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I haven't been the most um, proactive, as you can say, YouTuber. But I'm back. I'm back now. I am back. We have been. We've been busy. We've been working on working on the workshop, um, spraying. Um, yeah, just mainly just trying to build a workshop really. Uh, I'm just getting this ready for for Dad. He's going to go and lillison the potatoes and then ridge them up. He's spraying them now. Then I'm going to be popping on the sprayer and doing the last sprays in the wheat, a fungicide, an ear wash as you like, as they call it, because we're putting a fungicide on the ear of the wheat, because uh, now it's all out in here. Uh, and then that's, that'll be the wheat done uh, for sprays and then all we've got to spray is possibly the oats plus fungicide on them and the spring barley as well so yeah bit of interesting video I haven't done a video yet spraying so yeah we'll see so this is mainly what we've been uh, what we've been working on really so do you remember what this shed looked like yeah, it's not finished yet, but we're getting somewhere. Containers up there, got the mezzanine floor that was out the other shed, that's up there. Benches, some signs, irrigators in here, that's gonna be uh, oil change and fuel filter change. I've got the fuel filters and, and the oil filter. It's only one fuel filter and one oil filter, so drop the oil out on that. And because um, Michael from Agrimend, he, uh, come last year and sorted this out a treat and it run best it's ever did so touch wood does it again um, so yeah got some signs that's a JCB sign I bought that two years ago uh, and then yeah don't ask about that New Orleans sign oh, I acquired it what a what a sign that is eh um, the muck elevator for when we're grading in the potatoes, a bearing's gone on there. Most of this is all pot riveted, so we've got to sort that out. That's why that's in here. Um, and yeah, just got to tidy up. Tidy up, basically. That's what we've got to do. Um, that's a flower mower for the Kubota, you know, the little lawnmower that we got. Bought that from Sheffins the other day, went and picked it up, but uh, the PTO is wrong for the uh, Kubota, so. I'm in talks with Ben Burgess to get a PTO because they sell them uh, Trimax or Trimax um, mowers. Um, what a day, beauty of a day. Still getting used to the telehandler. <laughs> Irrigators pulled them out the back of the shed. It's as it weren't level. Damn, I missed the I missed the buttons on the back. You're like, well, where's the where's the draft control? This old girl, she ain't got it. She's a beast though. So yeah, I've just taken these harrows off because we went and harrowed the potatoes down. Uh, food. Well, they was just coming up, and then we went and harrowed them down. So we went and harrowed the ridges down because we couldn't get on and spray them for, for black grass and weeds. So this is a good uh, tool to harrow them down to minimise the, the, the weeds because it, it would take the weeds out. And then when it was dry enough, we went on and sprayed. Uh, but that's doing blight spray today. That'll be every week. Every week on the sprayer. But... I'm going to put the ridger on this tractor now because we don't need to change the tyres to go through 
with his tractor so yeah So, small bit of a change of plan, really. It's 16, 17 degrees, and it's a bit too hot to go and put the fungicide on the wheat, the last ear wash on the wheat. Um, and we've got an insecticide to go on as well. I know that's a nasty spray, and people don't like putting it on, but we're putting it on. That's our decision. People can and probably want to tell us what to do but that's in our best interests in our crops best interest to put it on there's a lot of fly green fly about so we're putting it on um, end of the story but it's a bit too hot to do that so we're going to wait to the evening i have just got the recommendations through for my spring barley so i'm going to go and do what seems silly my field one of six hectares uh, of fungicide um, of spring barley with fungicide, two fungicides and uh, magnesium as well. I've got a different chemical for my spring barley and, and what dad has got. I've got Tevos and Albran and he's got Zephyr and Mojav so I've got to go one field separately to dad's. Bit of a pain because normally we can go and do all the spring barley, one tank full, same chemical, jobs are good. But I don't want to miss this. It's a nice day. It's calm. A little bit of a breeze, but it's not not enough to uh, say no. I ain't going to go spray. It's a lovely day, so we'll get filled up and we'll uh, yeah we'll head on down there. This is the, the new field, the uh, six hectare field that we took on that I took on, um, and yeah we'll go and see what that's looking like. I haven't been down there in a few weeks, so. pretty good that's pretty good right we got a rock potion in here well we ain't got a rock potion just two two products and some some bath salts basically that's what we've got in here hey oh dad's ringing right yeah yeah She's 
not. I'll get the Edlands out of the way with them and then I'll uh, I'll flip the camera around, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Oh, I know there's a fair old way to go till harvest, but whew, I'm paying a whole rent for this. I've got to make some money at the end of the day. So we've got a barley up to the axle. till harvest but, and anything can happen we can get a hail storm or whatever but for the time of year I went, we drilled this fairly early there's some black grass there is some black grass in places in the bottom end we did everything right sprayed it with roundup we ploughed it um, pre-emmed it got it in right and sometimes you need a bit of luck, I suppose. Um, but whoever said flat grass don't come in spring crops, well, it does. It's just a, the biggest myth, the biggest con out there, I reckon. There's a chemical out there that will kill it. There's got to be at the end of the day. Um, but the chemical companies are making too much money selling everything else um, so why would they release it and like these black grass machines uh, yeah it's all a gimmick it's all a gimmick you can hate me for it in the comments if you like but it's all to sell chemical and it's all, yeah. I'll tell you what, while I'm sitting in here, I might as well say it. This country will soon know about it if we ever get into some sort of war because this country is not self-sufficient for food. And that's what nobody will come on. Come on the news and tell you Farming it is in a it is in a mess at the moment and this country is not self-sufficient which is no good. We rely heavily on imports. The government just seems to knock us to one side. Uh, no one wants to do anything, no one wants to work. And uh, yeah, it's oh no. I'm rambling on. I'm 
I mean, I'm 25, and it's a long way for me to go, touch wood yet, in this industry, I hope. Um, who knows? Might be selling up next week. You just don't know, do you? You don't know. You really don't know. Uh, a lot of people are struggling. It's like the cereals event. Yeah, all right, it's good. Have an event. Look at look at some uh, fake trial plots that's been uh, sprayed at the right time, been watered at the right time, and everything else, and think, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try some of that. It's all to sell the implements and the stuff like that. It's, yeah, yeah. You cannot beat plowing. End of story, end of chat. Simple as. Some land it don't work for, so I'll try some else. Cool that. You've still got to move the soil about. you still got to move the soil about. Oh, that's that done. Make sure you put it back on the water, otherwise she won't track. <laughs> Turn the PTO off. Oh. Look at it. You can see uh, the wheeling marks where we've rolled because it was a bit damp. Look, yeah, just, just there, I think. Um, so. Well, it's just because we, we, we ideally would want a tractor on flotation tyres. It's like just there that you can see a wheel in there. It's not where the drill's been, it's where we've gone and rolled it. Because uh, I went and rolled this field and all the others, I think, uh, one evening. Uh, so, yeah, but happy with this. Happy with this. Okay, so on the potion list, we have Epso Top, which is them bags just down there. We've got uh, 85 kilograms of that gone in the tank. We have 7.65 litres of Zephyr, which is there, and 15.3 litres of Moja. So, yeah, a fair amount. 17 hectares worth, to be exact. So, we're going to go over to farm two now. There's three fields down there we got to do. I've just come from that way because I've been and done mine. 15 acre and uh, just before dinner I did this spring barley out here so now I've got 17 hectares left so we've got 2,600 litres in Le Tank 150 litres a hectare on the screen there we are look and uh, yeah away we go now then, I'm a lot steadier than what uh, Dad is. Obviously, I haven't been spraying that long, less than a year. Um, basically, it's my first year doing a bit of spraying. Um, and with that also comes my first mistake. I'll go and probably show you later. Um, what it is, or what it was, is we were spraying wheat uh, I was spraying wheat and then we went and uh, washed out and then we went and sprayed some a herbicide on my beans and I put water through the tank three times this was a like half seven half it was what eight o'clock at night put water through, uh, through it three times we were pushed for time because it said it was going to rain 
I went and put the herbicide on my beans and where I started off in the gateway, it must have, must have had a granule or two of uh, whatever we were spraying in on the wheat and it's killed my beans like a strip uh, and then it, it really did knock the rest of the field back the whole 30 acre field it, it really did sort of ooh, it, it, it sort of curved the leaves up but I've killed the gateway uh, purely because I should have filled the tank right up instead of filling it like sort of halfway draining it out I did that three times though I should have put um, this other substance uh, called all clearing and uh, clean it all out but I didn't and uh, it's resulted in the beans being knocked back a hell of a lot. I've got one 30 acre field that's as tall as my tractor tires and looks lovely and then the other 30 acre field looks a bit sick but we've, we've got some, we've had some special stuff to put on it, I've done that. I've also put some other like P and K sort of chemical on. Um, it's sort of it's turned them around a lot and it sort of saved them. Uh, otherwise I could have had a 30 acre field of beans uh, written off basically because of my lack of knowledge, lack of, of understanding of washing the sprayer out and, and stuff like that I suppose. And the fact that I was rushing about more than anything because it said it was going to rain. And it did rain but um, yeah. One of them things I'll go and perhaps show you at the end of this. Uh, if I get a chance at the end of the th today. Uh, but it's one of them things. Cloud does not look good. We've all been there. Don't say you ain't gone spraying and it's rain. It didn't talk of raining at the start of the day. Oh. Make a COVID vaccine in under a couple of months, but can't even tell them in weather. Poor, absolutely poor. <sighs> ah well, got one field left and a little bit round some wheat that we drilled to do. That's not out in here yet, but I'm spraying it. It's done then. Right oh, ladies and gentlemen, man. Spring barley, D-U-N done. I've just washed out. Uh, not that I really needed to because you can spray that on wheat. And now it's sort of cooled down. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go on my 26 acre of wheat, the furthest, real far away, furthest that we've got uh, and get that done. But I'm just gonna fill this out um, put the wind speed down, uh, what time you start, what time you finish, 
uh, wind direction, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll get another potion in the tank and uh, mix up and go on some wheat. Down the bumpy track. There's the oats, look at them. Last time you see them, they're only just coming through. Woo! They're coming out in, uh, coming out in, well, here, not here, but uh, here. Uh, coming out in, I call them the little bells. Um, that's probably not the right terminology. But, yeah. Oh, we'll be driving past my beans. We'll have a look. we'll have a look at that. There's my beans. Can't see them very well. There they are. That field's 30 acres. She's looking good. That's the one with the poles in, pole dancing field. Yeah, plenty of flowers on, which is what I like. Um, yeah, yeah, looking good. And sprayer operator of the year goes to Mr. Rob Andrew. Look, seen it? Not. Yeah. It happens. Well, it don't. It does happen. But. They've recovered very well. The rest of the field's recovered very well. I'm lucky, oh, I am lucky. Lucky boy. It's actually turned out, it's not rain. It's spitted about for a bit, but it's not rain. And it, the wind's dropped. So, it's turned out to be an all right evening. Look at it, KWS, Zelum, Zelum, whatever you want to call it. I always say that, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, we, we, um, we liked the variety called Illicit and uh, we couldn't get it, so we sort of went all in on Sort of went all in on on this variety. Bit of a risk, but yeah, let's just sit here, let the chemical get to the lines. Oh no, away we go. We're here. We are here. Bumpy this out, look. Nice and calm. Slower that I always go a bit slower on the Edlands because it's a bit bouncy, especially what we've drilled with the Lemkin because um, it had that disc system on it. Never used to leave it very nice for spraying. some money in the week. I'm hoping. We've done well to get this field in the floor anyway, so it's looking clean, which is good, because we never preempted it neither.
telegraph poles in this field neither. Well, I have, it's not a lot. We don't like telegraph poles. Not a sight, it's just a bit of black grass up this end of the field. Other than that, just the odd grass weed coming in from the outside. Uh, and yeah, she's pretty clean. The odd wild oat for some reason. Don't know. Jobs are good. Look how much we got left. Absolutely zilch. Which is always good. Yeah, please with that. Cool. You can proper smell that spray. Proper smell that spray. Yeah. Please with that. But right, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna shut this gate and uh call it it, I reckon. Dad might go and, well I might go on the mower, but Dad's going to go and spray some more, some more wheat I think, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching, thank you for returning to Fen Farming, um, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this sort of return video, oh I have anyway, getting back into the swing of it. Um, but no, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Don't know when it'll be, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll try and get one out. Um, and yeah, so happy days. Catch you later. Ta.